It's finally here. The day we've been waiting for, planning for, excited for is here. We are getting married. It still feels a bit surreal that in just a few hours, I will get to call you my husband. I've been waiting many, many months for this day. I should be nervous and anxious, but I find myself calm and at peace. I think it's because I know that no matter what else happens, we will be married by the end of the day. I knew the minute I held this baby girl in my arms, we were gonna have a very special bond. I quickly learned I had to give her back to her mother. <laughs> However, Stevie, it has been awesome watching you flourish into the woman that you were meant to be. Not only are you a tenacious scientist, you're a beautiful person inside and out. You have mentored my two boys, Grant and Mason. You are my niece and you are my best friend. Cameron's always told me before that he looks up to me. Figuratively, obviously, but also literally. But I look up to him too. I've always admired Cameron's strong work ethic and drive for perfection. Most best man speeches would tell stories about drunken party days. But in typical Cameron fashion, his party days were instead spent learning all there was to know about how to saute, puree, and flambe, and everything in between. That effort is part of what makes Cameron so successful. I've always seen Cam put 100% into everything he does and have no doubt he will continue to do the same when it comes to his relationship with Stevie. You too. You're gorgeous. Thank you. See the train. Yeah, wow. I told you, big train. Nice and long. It comes off. <laughs> you look awesome. completely captivated by you the moment we met. The handsome chef who cooked me an amazing five course meal. By our second date, I knew you were the one. And I'm sure there are many people here who would probably agree that I quickly fell head over heels for you. Cameron, you are so caring, courageous, kind, smart, funny, and generous. You have such a positive energy and you brighten up even the darkest days with great food and the most amazing hugs. Thank you for filling my life with so much joy. Thank you for creating such a warm and loving home with me and our dogs, Bella and Sadie. They really love you so much. Cameron, I absolutely cherish you. I cherish everything you are right now, and I vow to treasure everything you have yet to become. I vow to travel by your side through all of life's adventures. I vow that I will not only choose us, but will prioritize us every single day. And before God and our family and friends, I vow to love you forever. See if I can read my own writing here. <laughs> Stevie, you are the love of my life. I am constantly amazed by how incredibly caring, thoughtful, and inspiring you are. I feel so blessed to have met you, and today I'm so happy that I am able to declare my love for you in front of our God, our family, and our friends. I'll be honest, I'm not yet certain what the recipe is for a successful marriage. So instead, I'll quote Julia Child. The secret to a happy marriage is finding the right person. You know they're right if you love to be with them all the time. 
We've been dating for two years, six months, and one day today. But today marks the day that we are together all the time, no matter what. That being said, I'm preparing myself to go on a lot more hikes with you. I'll be brave, even if you want to track through bear country together. I promise to be the best doggo dad I can be. I'll forgive you, no matter how complex or difficult the difference between us might be. I'll even forgive you if you insist on choosing the grated powder that comes in that little green plastic jar posing as actual Parmesan. I promise to always give you a goodbye hug, no matter how late I'm always running. I vow to embrace our growth and our change. I vow to love you more than I did yesterday and the day before that. I promise to yell just as loudly at the TV as you when the Baylor Bears are playing a close football game. I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives together trying new restaurants, creating new memories, and hiking new trails. Stevie, you are the love of my life, and I will spend every day of ours honoring that. Here we are after all the planning and discussing and arranging and waiting and thinking and adapting and planning a little bit more, like the precision of a scientific experiment or an exquisitely and deliciously prepared menu, this moment and this weekend have been well organized. I am certain, Stevie, you know the exact order of this service better than I do, and Cameron, I worry a bit that somewhere in the back of your mind, you might be wondering and worrying about how things might be going in the kitchen right now. But I couldn't be more impressed with the way you both bring professionalism and excellence to everything you do. So for a moment, I want to offer you some permission to shake it out and soak it in. Go ahead, shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. You can do better than that. <laughs> Our most gracious Heavenly Father, you have blessed us so abundantly tonight. This is such a special occasion. And we thank everyone who's made the trip for not just a few miles, but hundreds of miles. So we bless now Dr. Stevie and Cameron in their endeavors that they make a change in the world. And now we ask you to bless this food, which is not just normal food, Father, but a feast. Now with the blessing of everyone who is present here today and in the presence of Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make this. Every chance I got, I would drag my little three-year-old out in the woods and she would, uh, she'd hike in, we'd go hike in the backpack and we'd stay overnight in the woods. And she would hike in like a real trooper. Because she knew that in my backpack, I had noodles and popcorn. It was <laughs> her favorite meal, actually. But funny enough, on the way out, her legs hurt. So she couldn't make it, she couldn't walk anymore, Daddy. So if you can picture me with a 40 pound pack and a three year old on top of that with her little backpack, you know, get this all out. And uh, we've continued to hike together. The only difference is now she carries me in. So. <laughs> Cameron, you captured the hearts of the Birch family with blueberry French toast. Stevie has always had this uh, Addy Do list, all right? At about 5.30 today, guess what, Cameron? This became the Cameron Do List. <laughs> Let's all raise a glass to Cameron and Stevie. Here's to a lifetime of love and happiness, health, wealth, and all around continued success.
you